there ladies today i'm going to be talking about true feminine energy and what it means to really be an embodied true feminine energy so um there's sometimes this confusion out there that feminine energy is about looks and um and guys always look at the looks or oh, i'm so feminine i'm doing some yoga or swimming classes but the truth is it's just like something that you do and true feminine energy is coming from the place of energy ah hi dear thank you for joining and not of the from the looks or act activity that you are doing and um, so that's one point. The second point is that uh, I remember when I first um, stumped upon stumped upon um, this work, and I was thinking um, about like when I'm with my ex boyfriend, I have to be really feminine, so I have to always um, have good. A good attitude or a smile and be like so feminine but the truth was I wasn't authentic at all I wasn't authentic at all and by the way um, thank you girls for joining if anyone would like to have a real conversation with me so I would love to invite you to the live stream so just let me know and so I was just like acting so feminine and um, I just wasn't at um authentic at all and um yesterday a guy that i'm dating has texted me and was like well last time i saw you i was feeling so afraid that i say something wrong because if i say something you wrong you would you would uh, blow up and i was like really like how come like i don't think i was that um had that bad mood but I really had a bad mood because um, it was like two days before I got my period so who knows like everybody has sometimes a bad mood and I no longer hide that I'm just being my bad mood and of course I don't um, like yell at the guy or something but I just um, yeah kind of tell him yeah I'm not like the happiest person today and uh let's see i don't know if you're ready girl but i just want to see this and um so let if you have any questions let me know know everyone Okay, and other than that, I would love to share um, <laughs> so girl, you don't want to go at my come to my last room. that's okay. Other than that, I would love to share about other funny moments. Um, so another guy that I'm dating is telling me, yeah, sometimes you have like this strict uh, strict a view of being um, like he calls me my professor uh, view when a boundary or something is broken so I don't even like have to um, <laughs> I don't even like have to say anything and he knows my boundary is broken so really girls if you think this is feminine to kind of like say nothing and let the guy walk over you boundaries uh, like a doormat so that's not that's not feminine that's really wounded feminine and to always be happy whatever he's uh, doing that's not feminine either so it's really really um, important to also like say what's not working and um, what he can do else and i tell you this is a subconscious turn, turn on for healthy masculine man like they even tell me that they love it so they love when you tell them no this is not working for me or even for another guy I told him when he started criticizing me I told him like I don't like that it doesn't feel good so I told my feeling and need it doesn't feel good and um, I would love you to please stop criticizing me 
And then he was like, why? Like, this is not good. And then I told him, okay, we're not the right match. And this is really high value behavior and the right man will always step up. Um, okay, I'm really active kid. Can I be active in form of a man while I'm dating? I just pretend to be soft, but it's like not me. Yes, I had this issue too. I'm sometimes really, really active. Also like liking, like jumping and talking. And I used to be like, okay, feminine, I have to be flowy, I have to be soft and like say nothing. But the truth is um, that is just not authentic. Yes, you can be active. I'm super active. I love sports. I love running. I cannot sit down for a long time. And I love talking. And um, attraction and feminine energy is not about like being soft or saying nothing. It is about um, really being in love with yourself really being fulfilled with your own life and and the energy kind of you have to like imagine that your energy is within you so this is you and you're like having a party being really happy you can also jump around or talk a lot and this is you and you're just like really happy by yourself and the guy sees you from there and is like wow She's such a vibrant, happy woman. I want to join this party because um, like the feminine being, she's all about the energy. And the guy sees it and is like, wow, I want to join this party. I want to um, um, join this beautiful uh, feminine radiant woman. And for example, you can even like do sports together or talk together and... Um, so you definitely don't have to pretend to be really um, too, too soft or too, um, too inactive because the truth is you want someone who falls in love in you authentic self and the right man will love that kind of you. And it's always, it's always about the energy. So um, you know how we always say don't chase the man and so on. So um, when you don't chase the man and you always are in your own space, you kind of lean back and, and just enjoy your life, then the man chase you and it looks like he texts you and he calls you a lot and he invites you to date because he wants to be with you with this beautiful, radiant woman whose energy is so... Um, so so glory so that's why just be yourself and work on yourself be the perfect um perfect self and do inner work and the right match will always find you okay i'm happy that helped and i will see you guys soon